Our caution to you with a quick little check-in, this time from Fremont Street once again. Yes, just when I thought I had left Las Vegas, something about this city, something about this place, something about this environment, something about this aura has called me back and called me back almost stronger than ever. This weekend here in Las Vegas with the great Vince Hollywood Kelvin has been incredible. It's really absolutely, absolutely incredible. And in ways that I could have never even imagined, you know? What do I mean by this? Well, that's what I mean by this. No, I'm just kidding around. That is um, remnants of an absolutely stellar dinner. Anyways, I'm, I'm, one of the things that I really took away from this weekend in and of itself was just the idea of breakthroughs. Or, uh, but not the idea of breakthroughs, but rather the breakthrough of really expressing myself a lot more authentically and figuring out what's what's really me and what's what am I really feeling versus what am I kind of like bullshitting. In other words, like really seeing, okay, Akash, you're being you're being honest here, you're being authentic. Like this is something that like you're truly feeling and something that you truly want to express versus uh, this one, nah, that's kind of a little bit more bullshit. That's that's fake. And and the question is, well, what's fake and what's real? This question that I've really focused on this particular weekend is like, what does it really mean to be real? That is an interesting top, by the way. And I found that the short answer of it is, we know what real is and we know what fake is. Especially as it relates to communication. In other words, you can we can all tell within ourselves, we're like, oh yeah, that was kind of bullshit. And if, or that was fake, you know? Or that was real. Um, this little commentary that I just had, oh, that top, that was real. I was like, oh, that's an interesting shirt. But if I were to be like, uh, oh, check out, check out that net over there. That's, that's bullshit, you know? It's, I didn't really give a shit about the net. It was like, it, I wasn't even looking that way. I was like searching outside of myself. Why am I, why is this like an important topic to me? Why is, what does it mean to be real versus what does it mean to be fake? Why is that important to me specifically? I think, and something that I've been exploring more and more, and something that I've been noticing more and more in, especially right now, like this time period, is that people are looking for real more and more. And perhaps it's something that we've always been looking for, but it's only something that I've been noticing at this particular time in my life. And at the same time, it's where I'm at, you know? So, it's finding ways of how can I be more real with myself? What are ways that I can communicate in ways that are more true of my personal experience? And that's, it comes down to, and again, all of, many of these takeaways really come down, come from Vince Kelvin. Um, it comes down to checking back in with myself, being like, Uncle Shinzi, how are you really feeling right now? Like, what's really going on with you? What's, what's going on in the inside? And right now, what's going on in the inside is, I am fucking shot. I'm exhausted. My feet are killing me. I want to get a pedicure right now. I feel a bit overstimulated in terms of all of the different things that are ongoing around me. And I'm super excited for the future, even though I, I feel like I'm running on fumes. Because what I've found more and more is that when I think I'm running on fumes, I'm actually just beginning. In other words, when I feel like everything is like, oh man, I'm coming to an end, okay, I need to go to bed, blah, blah, blah. It's like, no, 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 no. That is just the beginning of, of the magic. And I've done this consistently in life, when, whether it be when it comes towards the, what I think is the end of my money. It's like, wow, there's actually a whole new layer to be explored right here. Or when it comes to the end of my, oh man, this is everything I've ever had to say. I don't have anything more to say. That's where the more rich and interesting dynamics come in. So you look very comfortable. And so it's like, just where I, I think, it's like, okay, this is, this is the end. I have nothing more to say. And thank you very much. It's like, well, no, that's... In some ways, actually, just the beginning, because 
it forces me to explore past what I've known in the, in the past. In other words, it forces me to go past what I've known to be true to date or known to be fact, known to be my experience to date, and push past that and find and uncover new ways of communicating, new ways of being, new ways of earning money, new ways of talking to beautiful women, new ways of connecting with my inner self, new ways of expressing who I am, new ways of moving my body, because I really love moving my body around in many different ways and positions. Um, and all of this really comes down to a level of self-expression, more and more. So that's really what I'm uncovering, is that I have repressed myself so, so much, and for no other reason than that's kind of what I was taught. I was kind of taught of like, okay, like uh, you kind of just shut up. Don't say anything. Rather, simply be silent. Don't, don't express what's going on in the inside. In fact, if you say what's going on in the inside, oftentimes it'll either be reprimanded physically, emotionally, um, what have you. And, and, and so it's, it's like, no, no longer. That's, 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 no longer. There's no need for it. Why? Because I'm a fucking man. I am enough. I know who I am. And I love who I am. And I'm continuing to uncover what does that even mean? What does it mean to really love myself? What does it mean to be loving towards yourself? Well, all of these things are kind of what I'm exploring more and more within myself. But anyways, until next time. Keep up, thrive, stay sexy.